Okay. Uh, welcome to the Jenkins Docs Office Hours. This is the European edition here on October 13th, 2022. Uh, today we have myself, Bruno, and uh, Liz is joining us, which is great. She's part of the Docs team at Cloudbees and uh, is interested in Hacktoberfest. So it's great to uh, have more of the people joining into the community and becoming uh, engaged with it. Uh, for today's agenda, there's a few, there's some action items here. Uh, we had our LTS release last week successfully with the change log and upgrade guide. Uh, we have our next LTS work is starting. Alex Brandes will be the release lead and we'll have some uh, work on that starting soon. Uh, small update on DevOps World 2022 in case anyone wasn't here last week or missed it. Uh, and then some Tactoberfest news since that's what uh, is the bulk of what we're looking at this month and the events and projects that we have going on. Uh, and then we will have a weekly, of course, next week, 2.374. That'll have to be reviewed. Uh, but outside of that, uh, we've got quite a few things on here. Uh, Bruno, Liz, is there anything else that you'd want to add to the docket today or anything that you'd want to talk about? Nothing that comes to my mind. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Am I in the wrong meeting? I thought no. we were supposed to be doing like docs. Yeah. yeah, this is um so this is the docs office hours for Jenkins. Uh so these are all the docs things that we uh tend to talk about. So we have our blog posts and uh the Jenkins community blog, and we have the change log and upgrade guide, which we take care of, uh, and all the Hacktoberfest documentation stuff for Jenkins. So okay. yeah, you're in the right places. Um if you have any questions as we go along, please feel free to ask and stop me. Uh no problem there, okay? Okay. Um, so just as far as the action items go, uh, Mark's not here this week. He's on vacation for uh, this and next week. So um, he has a couple action items that I'll have to take care of, but that won't happen until he gets back. So most likely November-ish. Um, we just, we had our blog post for DigitalOcean uh, sponsorship that we just um, got more of a sponsorship from DigitalOcean. So that's growing. We want, we announced that in the blog. Uh, and we've had a couple of uh, Google Summer of Code blog posts from our participants, uh, Diraj and Vihan, that were just published this Monday. Uh, so uh, one of them is on the plugin health scoring system, which is something that we've been working on a lot um, and is just designed to make sure that people can stay informed and up to date on what their plugins look like and how uh, they're performing. And then Vihan was uh, wonderful enough to help with the pipeline step stock generation. Uh, before this was a very um, this was a very static thing and wasn't uh, exactly user friendly. Uh, he's added a filter here so that people can search for uh, the different steps and uh, get results that are specific to what they're looking for instead of just looking throughout the page. Uh, and even past that point, uh, they've also done a lot of wonderful condensing of the uh, different uh, plugins here. So while some of these uh, items are not um, collapsed, there are larger ones throughout the pipeline steps that do get collapsed so that we're not having a bunch of redundant uh, loads on the page for something that might be more extensive and needed its own page, for instance. Um, I think there might've been I think Bitbucket might have, yeah. So Bitbucket has something like this for the name string where it's been condensed. Now we have a great expansion option for these. Uh, and if it goes further than what the uh, expansion might be able to hold, there's another page for it to navigate to. Uh, so big thanks to Diraj and Vihan uh, and all the Google Summer of Code participants for all of their work. Great, great, great uh, things have been accomplished and we just appreciate it greatly. Uh, today, we also published a new blog post that we are going to have going forward called uh, for a monthly Jenkins newsletter. Uh, Alyssa Tong has create, uh, created that, compiled that, uh, utilizing the information from uh, the different docs uh, or a different SIG uh, leaders. So we have security, infrastructure, platform, uh, documentation updates, and uh, advocacy and outreach updates as well. Um, so we have a ton of great information available here and uh, just thanks to all of the uh, people that contribute and had 
uh, items to add to this as we go forward and continue through the time. Uh, we'll just have more and more information available. And once we start going, I think it'll be a really nice newsletter that uh, can really showcase what we're doing on a month-to-month -month basis. And then uh, the last thing under the action items is we are gonna have Jenkins governance elections soon. Uh, in the next couple months, they're gonna be uh, announced, nominated, voted, everything. Uh, the idea is to have them finished by December. And I will be working with Damien Duporto, who is overseeing the elections this year, uh, to work with him on getting a blog post for the announcement and instructions on voting and nomination, joining, contributing, whatever it uh, might need to include for that. Uh, so that'll be something coming up soon, and there will be more information when that's available. The, LT, the October LTS release went well successfully. Uh, Mark and Darren Pope had a live stream for it and all the changes and updates. Uh, you can find that here in the link. And for the next LTS, it's going to be a November 2nd release date. Uh, we have started the process of getting the release lead on board, which this time is going to be Alex Brandis. Thank you to him for joining on and taking on this one. Uh, and once we get that rolling, we'll have the change log and upgrade guide uh, to be reviewed and updated with any changes and updates that uh, between now and then. Uh, DevOps World 2022 has been postponed uh, due, to a, due to Hurricane Ian. Uh, this is going to be online in the future. So once uh, it's been determined when the best time is, we'll start uh, the uh, announcements and information will start to trickle out and uh, be disseminated. And uh, this is going to be open to everyone, not just uh, people who had tickets to DevOps World. So this is officially going to be able to reach more and more people than uh, we might have had a chance to before. Uh, this also includes the contributor summit, but instead of an all day summit, we're going to have a few sessions uh, to do things over a couple hours. So broken up, a little bit more digestible, uh, but this will take some planning. And once it's figured out, we'll get, we'll provide more info on it. Uh, and then uh, lastly, I'm going to actually move this up real quickly. Um, we have our typical weekly release. So uh, next week will be 2.374. Uh, there's a couple updates in the automated change log right now. Uh, but I'm not seeing anything too uh, out of the ordinary to fix up. Uh, and then lastly, and I wanted to give some time for this since uh, we didn't have a ton on the meeting, uh, but the Oktoberfest documentation has been going really strong. And I just want to share my appreciation for everyone that's been contributing and helping out. Um, we've gotten over 15 contributions from 10 plus people at this point. I forget exactly who off the top of my head. Um, and in an effort not to leave anyone out, just thank you to all of you. Uh, it's been really great seeing the different aspects of documentation that are getting updated or added or revamped or just uh, enhanced at this point. Uh, there was uh, one contribution where we were update, we had to update some of the security info for AWS installation. Uh, there was, uh, we have a whole new section on Kubernetes installation for Jenkins, which is great. And uh, that, you know, those are just a couple of the, the few that we've had. Uh, it's still going on till the end of October. So there's plenty of time to get involved and join in. Uh, we have a Hacktoberfest, uh, the Hacktoberfest main page for Jenkins. Uh, I'm going to actually add a link in here. But uh, we have our main Hacktoberfest page. We've got uh, Gitter connection uh, for chat. We have the event website, lots of uh, issue links so that you can see good first issues, Hacktoberfest issues. Um, and if there's, you know, if there's something that you see is being worked on already, or if you have an idea for what you want to work on, by all means, don't hold back. Please uh, share, you know. Um, in the Gitter channel, in Jenkins, uh, GitHub, wherever uh, you might want to. Um, and we also have the Jenkins dev mailing list and several other chat and connection opportunities. So there are several places that you can get connected. Uh, please feel free to reach out and share anything. Uh, I'm always, I'm about um, the passion so for all of this, and I'm really excited about having people join the community, get engaged, and feel empowered to do what they're doing. So 
uh, please, by all, like again, by all means, uh, any ideas, a uh, good valid idea at this point. Uh, I'm not going to say no to anything until we figure out that it's not a good fit. So, uh, and these are all just the different areas where folks can contribute. Um, so we have plugin docs, we have translations, the Jenkins infrastructure, all sorts of stuff. Um, so again, Hectoberfest is in full swing. And John Mark, who's uh, been running this for uh, CloudBees, has been an amazing uh, help in just getting everything, uh, keeping everything on track and helping organize everything for the different champions and participants to really get the most out of this. Um, he has written a little blog post for Preptember, so it's a couple of weeks after that, but uh, the information is still very valid and helpful. So uh, if you have questions about, you know, this getting started, that's a great place to start. Uh, we also have the Hectoberfest 2022 kickoff live stream. Uh, so this was done on October 3rd with uh, Darren Pope and uh, again, Jean-Marc Messin, so, who is organizing this for us. Uh, and uh, they just went through and described the ways people can get involved, how to really impact your uh, the the area you're working in, and just in general, good best practices for a lot of that. Uh, and even though it's not listed there, um, I know the process for creating or contributing to these repos may be new or unfamiliar in some way, shape, or form. So. Uh, I strongly encourage everyone to check out our YouTube channel because that has tons of other videos, uh, mostly on uh, different features and functions of Jenkins, but also a lot of the basics uh, of Jenkins work and uh, contributing to Jenkins. The, um, we also have a contributing guide available that helps spell out what kind of formatting or standards that we have right now. So there's a uh, lot of information. It might be a, too much to some people or it might be overwhelming, but please uh, just do what you can, read what you can. If you feel like you're getting overloaded, just stop and take a break. Yeah, and the community is very benevolent, kind and patient. So even when you do something which is not great yet, they will help you to get it up to the level, to the standards that we are expecting. I've experienced that uh, once again today. So I can tes Same. testify that uh, it's a very welcoming community. Yeah, absolutely agree. I know that uh, I was chatting with someone yesterday about the adopting a plugin tutorial because they haven't contributed yet. Um, and just sharing my own experiences as a new contributor to Jenkins. Uh, new Jenkins user and completely agree with Bruno. The community is probably one of the most welcoming I've ever been a part of. And uh, now that we're, I'm getting to uh, properly be a part of it, I want to give back and encourage people just the way I have been. Um, so continue keeping it up. These channels, these connect, uh, the chat channels are all connect or are getting connected. Some of them already are, but for the most part, we're working on getting chat channels connected so that regardless of which one you choose, uh, you'll be able to see the messages between them. Um, and we do have a page for this specifically. Um, so right now, the Jenkins infra and Jenkins release channels are connected no matter what uh, chat client you use, whether it's Matrix, whether it's Gitter, whether it's Element, whether it's IRC, they're able to share messages and threads so that uh, you don't miss anything. And we are, uh, Gavin Mogan, who is one of the governance board members is working on getting uh, the other channels connected as well so that uh, eventually we'll have seamless transition from one to the other without having to you know, play favorites or pick and choose. So. Uh, when that does happen, we'll be able to provide, provide more info. And we do have some, uh, just a, I added a little blurb recently for the chat explaining that. So um, if there's anything anyone has any questions about or if there's anything that doesn't make sense or isn't clear here, please, again, these channels are where you can find out and ask. Um, Gitter, specifically the newcomer contributions one has been really helpful for me. Uh, we also have a docs Gitter. So, um, I'm actually not sure why that one's not listed here, but we do have Jenkins Docs Gitter as well. So specifically for the documentation questions. Uh, oh, and we have a Hacktoberfest channel as well that's not listed here, but I'm pretty certain is 
listed. Yeah, join our Gooder channel. So uh, everyone can join in here. This is open. And yeah, we've got a lot of conversations going on here. We've got a lot of work. People, uh, Mark, myself, John Mark, they're in here helping out. Um, a lot of seasoned Jenkins users that we work with regularly are in here answering questions for the newcomers for people that are working for, with Hacktoberfest. So um, yeah, and you can even see John Mark's update a couple of days ago. Uh, we were over 106, we were over 160 valid Hacktoberfest pull requests from uh, 54 contributors. That's incredible. That's so many. Um, so that's just uh, amazing. And again, want to share our thanks for uh, everyone who's put in work thus far and, and submitted a pull request. Um, no matter how small or large that pull request might be, they're all valid, they're all important. Uh, everything helps. So uh, all that being said, um, if anyone has any questions or suggestions or ideas regarding the Hacktoberfest documentation, uh, please feel free uh, to share. Um, otherwise, it's okay. Uh, we don't have to discuss further. If uh, we don't have anything to talk about, I'm not going to force the issue. So uh, all that being said, it does look like we've managed to get through our agenda for the day. Uh, oh, actually, uh, one quick note. So the monthly Jenkins newsletter is not a newsletter that's sent out via email. It's just a blog post right now. Uh, Alyssa is currently out uh, on PTO, so uh, we may not have a tweet or post for it right away, but uh, I will work with the rest of the community team to get that figured out, see if we can potentially uh, push that out there today or tomorrow so that cool. uh, it's visible. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Um, any other questions, thoughts, comments, concerns before I stop the recording? Please, um, what did, uh, were you expecting from that uh, office hours? Uh, did you have any specific question about documentation or something you're working on for Oktoberfest or anything else? Uh, sorry, who were, you, were you asking me or? No, no, I was asking to Liz. Oh. But I don't know if she can hear me. I, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm wondering what you were expecting from that meeting. Did you have specific questions on the documentation? Do you need help with one of October first issue you are assigned to or anything else regarding documentation? And yeah. may we help you in any way? Yes, um, I have not been assigned to anything. I, I'm not familiar with 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 this at all. I um yeah, I guess I thought there was going to be more. I I must have missed the meeting where it was explained how you get assignments and. Oh, you choose I, it by yourself. In fact, uh, you you're yeah. not assigned. You propose something, uh, make a pull request, and then assign was not the right term. Sorry about that. Oh. Uh, so uh, I think I can, I can actually show in this case, Bruno, if you don't mind. Uh, so yeah, of course. So, um, so Liz here, so this is the Hacktoberfest event page from Jenkins. This is where we have all our information on the projects that we're working with. Um, here in the issue queries section, uh, we have these Jenkins Jira issues suggested for Hacktoberfest, GitHub issues suggested for Hacktoberfest, uh, newbie friendly issues in Jenkins and dashboard good first issues on GitHub. These are the places that you'd want to look to. Uh, so for instance, I'll open up the Jenkins Jira issues first. So uh, these are the Jenkins Jira issues specifically. Uh, these may not be uh, documentation related. They may be more uh, coding and, uh, and actual uh, scripting tasks. Uh, however, in the GitHub issues suggested for Oktoberfest, um, this is where a lot of the writing and documentation is going to happen. Uh, so uh, for anything that you'd want to contribute in that regard, uh, either the good first issues on GitHub link or GitHub is issues suggested for Oktoberfest links are going to probably be the best case for um, contributing in this in this instance. Um, 
The only thing that I want to make sure is clear on the Hacktober, the GitHub issues suggested for Oktoberfest. Um, this does not make it a good first uh, time user issue. Uh, for for instance, the rewrite uh, review intro to Blue Ocean to reflect new status is a Hacktoberfest option. Um, but after talking with Mark, he was saying that this isn't even something he'd want me to work on right now, uh, just because it requires a lot of customer insight. Uh, so the good first <laughs> issue, uh, so the good first issues is definitely uh, where, where you want to look for. And then anything that's labeled documentation is up for grabs. Uh, even if it looks like someone might have, uh, you know, made a comment on it, like there's a few people that have commented on it. Um, you know, if they haven't actually submitted a pull request, then there's not really work being done. Uh, you can assign yourself in any of these cases as well, just going up here and adding yourself in here. Um, but uh, yeah, for the for the actual Hacktoberfest issues, it's really open. Um, the idea is that any contributions are really welcome. So uh, it doesn't have to be anything super intensive Jenkins knowledge wise. It doesn't have to be anything intensive. Uh, it can be something as simply just reformatting some of the text. Um, a lot of the text that we, or the, a lot of the pages that we did have or do have, uh, were coming from Markdown. So some of the formatting might still be there in some cases of older documentation. Cleaning that up would be a great option, for instance. Um, the, only, the only thing with that is it's not necessarily listed out which pages are still like that. So it would be a little bit of uh, digging and discovery before actually getting to uh, work on that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that being said, like there's a, like there's a ton of stuff. Like there's only eight options here, but that's not saying you can't come up with anything else. If you if you like check these out, maybe you notice something is um, not necessarily a right a good fit for you, but maybe it's close to something that you'd want to work on or do. Um, by all means, check it out. If you uh, you can always um we have our contributing guide and it shows you how to uh it explains how to fork clone repositories submit pull requests a lot of the good uh basics that we do here for the jenkins uh project so uh and it also has the links for the good first issues it's got the mailing list regular meetings getter chat so uh and some standards for different uh processes with jenkins specifically um but it's but like i said it's got this uh creating a fork using GitHub data files, using a global clone information, uh, which is super helpful in just getting started. Um, but you're free to do anything that you feel is a fit. Um, if you have questions about uh, whether or not something would be a good like uh, place to do something, uh, you can ask any one of us, we'll all have similar feelings towards it, I'm sure, it's just because we're all working in Jenkins at the same in um, you know, not the same way, but similar capacities. Uh, so every we have the Hacktoberfest Slack channel. We have um, the community Slack channels as well. Uh, the, the Gitter channels really are one of the best places to talk with other people about Jenkins and documentation, just because it's gonna be skill sets from the newest user to, to governance board members that know exactly what they're doing. Uh, so, does that help clarify a little bit more about the plan for Oktoberfest? Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. thank you. <laughs> of course. And I'm going to actually link this page in the agenda since um, this is such a crucial part of Oktoberfest. And there are all already lots of issues created for documentation. But if you ever find something, uh, Liz, that you think could be ameliorated, which is not described in any issue yet, uh, that doesn't prevent you from submitting a PR about that. Even if that does not exist yet, you know, in the issues, you can create one of your own, just proposing an amelioration of the documentation in Jenkins IO or in the plugins or whatever. Okay. Yeah. And um, one other thing too is, uh, I, it's not necessarily listed out here um, in the same way, but uh, for the plugins, there are a handful of plugins that Mark, Bruno, Jean-Marc, 
Um, some folks that are committed to helping with Hacktoberfest are actively watching and keeping an eye out for yep. these uh, for reviews or for pull requests. Uh, the reason being is we still need to migrate some documentation from the wiki to the plugins page. Uh, this is n it's not as involved a process as other doc migration might be. This is a little bit more step by step procedural um, kind of moving and, and adjusting. Uh, but it's uh, it's an excellent way to just kind of do some work in the plugins or the documentation without having to completely rewrite or completely create documentation for uh, something as you're just moving everything over from one place to another, maybe updating some formatting again, they might have been in markdown. Um, but uh, the idea is that we have uh, some repositories that are specifically owned by people that are active that we are aware of maintaining it and are able to submit or uh, review the pull requests that come in. So um, if uh, you need any more information about that, we actually have a list. Like I, there's a couple of spreadsheets that we can, that I can share that have the plugins that are being maintained by um, Bruno Mark and John Mark. Uh, there's a list of all the plugins that need to have that migration happen that we can share. Um, and there's a couple other things that I can also send over. So. Um, we have a ton of resources. It's a lot to comb through and decide what's actually useful, of course. But uh, if we can help you get to that point here, then all the better for everyone else. So I just put in the chat uh, okay. the link to the sheet oh, perfect. with the Thank you. plugins. Thank you. Yeah. Just in case. Yep. And I, I know I have access. I don't know why it's not giving me access right now. So uh, we'll worry about that later. But yeah. Um, these are all really great, 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 great questions about Hacktoberfest because, uh, yeah, it is kind of nebulous in that sense of, do I get assigned something? Do I have to pick something out? Like, what's the deal? Um, and if, you, if you've if you missed like any of the kickoff meetings or any of the previous Hacktoberfest stuff, it might be hard to just figure that out on, like without someone telling you. So thank you for asking all those questions. I think it's been a great opportunity to just kind of explore that. Uh, page and get some more clarity about Hacktoberfest in general. Um, you know, these are all recorded meetings, so that could help any number of people uh, going forward as well. So great resource to have. And again, thank you. Um, did you have any other questions or uh, ideas on Hacktoberfest that you want to share, Liz, or uh, are you good for right now? No, I'm good. Thank you. I, I will take a, a deep dive into these links and um mm -hmm. i I'll, I'll uh ask the community if i have a question yeah definitely and if you if you want to ask me directly you can to bruno uh yeah sure he's okay with it it's a little late for him right now so uh maybe tomorrow but uh but yeah no we're all here we're all happy to help um and i think that's one of the best parts of working in this open source project is that uh, it's entirely community driven. We are all here to help each other and get the same results. So uh, we all want chickens to be the best it can be. No questions asked. So yeah, you're in the right place. Okay, great. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, Bruno, do you have any last thoughts or anything you'd like to share today as well? No, yeah, well, okay. thank you. Cool. All right, then. Uh, so then I'm going to go ahead and stop the video recording. Um, it might not be available as quickly as usual because uh, I don't have access to the YouTube account to upload them right now. So I'm going to have to check in with Hervé or John Mark mm -hmm. or Damon. I'm going to have to check in with some folks about uh, getting some help with uploading these. Yeah. So um, as soon as that is, it will be available uh, online and the YouTube, just like all the other ones are, though. Okay. And...